ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. This is Thursday, May 4th. This is the scheduled public hearing on the 2023-2024 Horsehead Central School District Board of Education approved budget for consideration by the Horsehead's community. This is not a formal Board of Education meeting, but rather a public hearing of the presentation of the budget as proposed, as well as any comments on that proposed budget. Uh, and that will be the only items with no action by any board member tonight at this meeting. At this time, I would turn it over to our board president, Ms. Christine Depp. Call the meeting to order, and can I please have you join me in the pledge of allegiance? <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I now turn it over to our assistant superintendent for business for the public hearing presentation of the approved budget, Ms. Katie Bessett.
summary budget and expenditures, uh, increasing $5.4 million or 6.12%. This incorporates all the things that we talked about in the course of the budget development process, our contractual salary increases, our debt obligations, increases to the books and services based on the number of students we're servicing, and the increase in program costs, equipment supplies and contractual for our departments and our buildings, our, our maintenance, and our transportation and fuel, uh, that's where our SRO contract is, things of that nature, and our transfer um, to various funds, uh, that 1.5 includes 1.2 million transfer to our capital fund. So this budget includes all current educational programs in our academic arts and athletics. It now includes one school resource officer at each of our instructional buildings for a total of six. We are adding two additional intervention support teachers, one that will be in this general fund and one that will be funded through our, our federal effort funds. We're adding four additional teaching assistants at the primary level, an additional instructional coach, an additional public bus monitor, a director of instruction, an additional accountant in the business office, and we're continuing our sustainability plan for all of our federally funded positions uh, through our service at ARP. On the ballot, our, our voters will find Proposition 1 to adapt the 2324 uh, budget in the amount of 9,384,722. Proposition 2 is seeking the approval to uh, acquire school buses at the aggregate cost not to exceed $1.6 million. And lastly, they will have the opportunity to vote on up to three candidates or uh, three open board seats. This is the order that they will appear on the ballot. As far as Ozzy Perugi, Brian Lynch, Warren Conklin, Katrina Amarski, Susan Amarski, and Aaron Chabon. They'll be a candidate for on Tuesday night, May 9th at 6 p.m. at the high school auditorium. The budget vote is Tuesday, May 16th at the high school South Gym from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. And also on that same day, there's a dish required image vote. Tom, would you like to talk to you later? Yes, as Katie indicated, there will be a district-wide image vote on the same day. Students will be voting in school during their morning, right off the bat, uh, in a unified process developed by the high school principal as well as the athletic director. Adult residents and alumni, if they wish to vote, may vote at the multimedia center from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. It will be separate from our district-wide vote, but in the same location. And tomorrow morning, Communication Information Specialist, Mrs. Susan, Susan Perizzolo, will make sure that it is uploaded to our district website. And at this time, I know the board has seen some preliminaries, but we wanted to share with the public and release the images. So our image number one is this image. It's a line art image. It's shown on the right in three different ways that we could put together the H or Blue Raiders or the H and the Blue Raiders. But on the left, in the main box, is the image that we will ask people to use if they wish to select that. At the voting location, we will have this paperwork displayed so that people can read it as well as to the artist's uh, reasoning why this is their consideration of the best image to represent Horsehead's Blue Raiders. So I have that there as a graduate of Horsehead 2000. I'd love to see a traditional image. A mascot utilizing whatever design chosen for the future. This can be in multiple color combinations and to show versatility and consideration for applications on uniforms and spirit work. Design will translate well into screen print, embroidery, digital print, etc. And that's what they submit. Image number two. Again, the far left is what they will be asked to use in their voting determination. The right are some samples of each of the aspects with the H or with Blue Raiders or with the H and Blue Raiders. The idea behind this submission is that we choose a clear and remarkable design to represent the Blue Raiders. This design is sleek and fierce without being aggressive. It can represent both boys and girls athletics without an exclusive focus on gender. It could be easily used at all of our sports and age groups. The image does not create a negative connotation associated with the Raider. I think it's important that these socially conscious times to design an image that would represent our district and athletics that shows awareness to the issues in today's society. Building on a strong foundation of our town, I choose to use this image of a horse that represents the Blue Raiders. A Raider would have 
likely ridden a horse and it ties into our community. I also choose to go with traditional blue and white colors using gray as an accent. The logo can easily be adapted to more simplified versions or using one color print, two color design, uh, also a very striking design which will help to drive sales and positive marketing for the school. Then image number three, again, to the left is the image that people will see, to the right are the images and how they could look, uh, and they can also be modeled. I believe my artistic submission should be considered the best representation of horse and blue rated logo because my work is developed with pride, all of it, and the story. A true American dream story based on opportunities. Like 1779, the village took a chance and dedicated itself to servicing American military horses. Or in 1833, when the village used the Shimon Canal for an opportunity to innovate until costly maintenance and repairs halted the canal business then utilizing the railroads for growth and development. The village always saved resilient through the channeling signs, and that is what you received with my work. So those are the three images. The ballot for the students in the classroom or the individuals, uh, residents and alumni coming in will be like this. In the classroom, it will be taken with our staff and our students using our technology. In the MMC, it will be a ballot. I think it's on Survey Monkey. And it basically says, thank you for voting on our district image. Please select the image that you think best represents the horse's blue rate. All they have to do is get on the touch screen, is touch one, two, or three, and submit, and the vote is cast. Those votes will be collected. They will not be counted by anyone at school. They will not be counted by any one member of the board, but rather our district clerk will receive them in conjunction with the high school principal and the athletic director, at which time we will prepare the final selection for a public uh, announcement at the June 23 Horsehead Board of Education meeting. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our public hearing. And at this point, we would open it to the floor for any questions or any comments as the budgeting is over. Questioning is really more about public hearing for comments on this year.
and pre-thank everybody um, who's going to vote. So um, the, more, the more people that we can get out and vote for, um, vote on the budget, as well as voting for our district image, it really just, you know, kind of brings us together as a community. So thank you very much. Okay. All right. Well, I'd like to ask for a motion to adjourn the public. Or motion to adjourn the meeting. Sure. There actually is no quorum, no. so we can't move, but because of the public hearing, That's right. We're going to adjourn. We are going to adjourn, and we want to thank everyone. We want to thank the board members that could be here because they get so much of their time uh, for coming out for this, and tonight is the closure of our budgeting process. The next available chance to weigh in on the budget is May 16th from 7 to 9 p.m. here in the South Gym, the Horsets High School. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Have a good evening.